Hello, I'm Lord Jimsicle, and you're watching You Have Issues, a program all about comics. Dead Man has been a character that I've always appreciated, but have only read a few stories here and there. But at the moment, I'm reading all of his post-crisis adventures. I had a little gander at my collection recently, and I picked out one that I bought ages ago, and I've been meaning to read, but it just kept slipping my mind. I present to you a supernatural love story in the DC Universe by the name of Dead Man, Love After Death. From the sounds of the title, you'd be forgiven for thinking that this is a necrophilia story, but I'm thankful to say it is anything but. Love After Death is a two-issue story written by Mike Barron, and is in fact an emotional tale where Dead Man meets a beautiful young lady who is a ghost like himself, and falls in love with her. But she is trapped in a malevolent, purgatory-like realm that takes form as a freak show circus. It's up to Dead Man to rescue her, but he is drawn into a much larger supernatural conspiracy. It's a very short, but captivating tale that takes a look at the human side of Boston Brand, which is something that still torments him as Dead Man. The circus purgatory aspect of the story is superb. Dead Man's backstory involves the circus as he was murdered during a trapeze performance, so naturally this setting references his origin story and touches upon many other aspects of the character, particularly the loneliness that Dead Man has to endure as a spectral being. Kelly Jones's artwork is utterly astounding. He is superb at doing these distorted horror-style drawings which carried over into superb titles such as the Batman Dracula Red Rain trilogy. It's a 1989 story, so it predates the use of digital paint, which to me makes the horror visuals much stronger through the use of real paint done by Les Dorscheid. All you artists or art fans that are watching this are probably cursing at me at the moment for using such simplistic terms to describe the art, and for that, I apologise. My critical skills on the artwork side of comic books isn't terribly good, so I'm really sorry about that, but I usually just comment on the large-scale obvious aspects of it. The tone and presentation of the story is for mature readers, which might not sound like much now, but at the time it was a darker take on a supernatural character that predated the Vertigo imprint. Sadly, this story hasn't been reprinted since its release as far as I know, though DC are currently reprinting Dead Man's publication history since his debut, so it might show up in a future volume. Thank you for watching this very strangely short episode of You Have Issues. I'm Lord Jimsicle. See you next time.